ba, 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 ba. Moin, moin, ladies and gentlemen, Don Spector here today with another Don Boxing. And today for you, um, a, a big box or big boxes. So first we have this topping box from tpdz.net. I have not ordered my device at tpdz.net. I have not ordered it at topping. So um, yeah, but let's see what we have here. So first we have just a balanced cable so which I can connect my D50 with my A50 or my A50 with my D50 because at the recent sale uh, the topping D53 and A53 were on sale. So I got those to replace my old stack here at the back in this direction. And yeah, the cable comes in a nice pouch like that. Let's open it and see what the cable actually looks like. Cheap. Of course. So that really is a pretty damn thick cable. I um, don't know why you would need a cable of this thickness, but okay. And yeah, this is uh, two times 6.3 millimeters. So yes, where was I? Uh, sorry, a uh, 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 double ring. So yeah, what's are the cables here? Yeah, there seems to be a thick air strain release on this side, as you can see, to prevent it from bending too much, I assume, at this point here. Uh, or can you remove that? I honestly don't know. Like It definitely uh, here prevents an additional bend near the cable. And on the other side, I assume we have pretty much the exact same spiel. Yeah. So yeah, that's the cable that I will be using later on to connect my D50 with my A50. And yeah, that's it. Let's then take a look at the D50. Because of course, uh, with my uh, uh, greatest of all lucks, well, guess what happened? Um, I ordered D50 at A50. But A50 is delayed by another month, while D50 was only delayed by a month. So one is delayed by two months, one is delayed by one month. Um, absolutely great luck as usual. And so uh, I will probably just have this sitting around for some time here. Because yeah, what will I be doing with an amplifier or with a deck without the other one? Like not really useful to me. Especially because my current uh, setup does have XLR, but it does not have uh, 6.3 millimeters. So I would also be struggling there. Like maybe I could connect RCA, that's true. But do I want to connect RCA? Uh, I think I should have RCA cables or somewhere. Okay, so first this is relatively thick plastic here, not as easy to open as others. And chip, the box itself is a bit weighty, but not too heavy. And it's relatively unspectacular on the outside. Like that is just a random ass box with the product picture on. And the outside box here to pull out is also more on the thin side. And chip, and then we have a standard matte black inside box here. Like absolutely nothing new. You've seen <laughs> most of our products, they come in similar boxes. Um, the nice thing that I already noticed though, that this is relatively easy to shake out. That's nifty because some other devices, pretty difficult to remove from their, uh, from their grave. So let's do that. And then we have ourselves the warranty card. We have a manual that also comes in English. Good, <laughs> the remote will have seen and my SU8, it basically looks the same. And then we have the D50 here. So this shit is definitely smaller than I expected. I have not had the other D50s before, but this is nice and small. Um, the, uh, what was it, the, the JDS Labs uh, Atom looks pretty similar in my memory in terms of uh, dimensions. So yep, yeah, it's the front, has a small display, on and off switch, and here for controls and knob. Um, I think the knob is made out of metal, nice. So that definitely feels now, yeah, very solid in the hand. And I mean, <laughs> it's a brick of aluminum, right? And at the bottom, I think these are torque, no, hexa screws, not torques, hexa, sorry. So you could also just open it up and look inside if you wanted. And um, the feet at the bottom here, light, light rubber, a really bit dirty though, hmm, strange. And then at the back, um, yeah, here, the uh, inputs with a 6.3. Then we have outputs. And um, yeah, no, yeah out outputs for uh, L and R. Uh, I think this is yeah, this is RCA, uh, coaxial, optical, USB C for data, USB C for power, and the 12 volt trigger thing. But I'm not entirely sure, honestly, if they will get me the trigger cable. Uh, let's see what we get as accessories here. So. <laughs> The remote, which yeah, it looks exactly like the one that came with my SMSL. And then we have a USB-C cable here, probably to connect for data. And then we have here a USB-A to C cable. 
that could be for power or maybe also data, like you, or you can choose. And then we have the Bluetooth antenna. Um, I don't see the 12 volt trigger cable here though. So I guess I will be just plugging in the other device then and just turn it on via the button. Um, missed opportunity here, or maybe is it beneath the foam? Let me check beneath the foam. Nope, foam is glued in. There's nothing beneath the foam. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Um, that's the packaging accessories here. Uh, one last thing that always um, excites me when I have a product. Don't, don't you also like it when it says high res audio or high res audio wireless? This, is, this is also make you very excited when you read this. Mm, yeah, much high res, such wow. Um, yep, yeah, so that's the unboxing. Um, there isn't much more to see here. It's a relatively boring uh, deck. And yeah, um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, if you have criticisms, if you have any other feedback or recommendations, please leave a comment. And with this, Inspector.